Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin from Vonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zer location video. So this week, Zer is over in the reef, and he's just down over in that hole that he always is in the reef. So whenever you go up to him, you can see what he's selling, and this week he is selling for a legacy engram. He is selling a gauntlet engram. So if you're missing any gauntlets from year one or two that you want to eventually get in year three, go and get it. It's 29 strange coins. Remember that legacy engrams are weighted more towards the exotics that you do not already own. So if you do play only a titan or a titan and a warlock, then you're not going to get a then you're going to more than likely get a hunter exotic because you don't have those. So I highly recommend to have all three characters if you're going to do this. That way you can make sure you get some that you can actually use. For the Titan class, he is selling the Eternal Warrior Helmet. Now the Eternal Warrior Helmet gives you Unstoppable for the Fist of Havoc. Yes, that's the only perk it has, and what that means is whenever you go into your Fist of Havoc Slam, you are going to have the Unstoppable perk on which makes you extremely hard to kill. And it's going to take about two Golden Gun Shots to kill you when you're in the Fist of Havoc mode. So. It's a really nice helmet if you're one of those panic titans that turns around the corner and almost dies and goes into a fist of havoc. It's really nice for that. If you're not one of those and you just don't like dying whenever you go into a fist of havoc, it's great for that as well. For the hunter class, he is selling the Lucky Raspberry chest piece. And what the Lucky Raspberry chest piece does is whenever you are using an art bolt grenade, that means that you're on the Blade Dancer subclass and you have the Arc Bolt Grenade on, the Arc Damage will chain to more enemies. Instead of chaining to only a maximum of 3 enemies, it will now chain to a maximum of 5 enemies. That's an entire team on Crucible, which is really nice for that. The other perk for the Lucky Raspberry, and probably its best perk, is every single time you respawn, you will respawn with full grenade energy. Now this can be done on any subclass, so you can be a Void Hunter or a Solar Hunter and always respawn with full grenade energy. It does not have to be an Arc Bolt Grenade to respawn with full grenade energy. For the Warlocks, he is selling the Purifier Robes. Now what the Purifier Robes do is whenever you activate Radiance from death, so you have to already be dead, Whenever you activate your Radiance, then you are going to distort nearby enemies. Basically what happens is you set off a flashbang whenever you respawn. It's really nice for Trials of Osiris, if people are around you and you respawn after they kill you. It's really nice for that because it's really hard to see whenever it goes off. Other than that, I don't see much of a point for it. PvE, most enemies, whenever you respawn like that, they're going to shoot at you, yes, but you can easily take them out. So I don't see much of a point outside of Crucible or Trials of Osiris. For Zer's Weapon of the Week, he is selling the Hard Light. And the Hard Light is a great auto rifle. It used to shake a lot more in year 1 and 2, but they actually reduced the shaking of it, so it's much more stable in year 3. Its Violet Light perk, which is the Hard Light perk, is the rounds that fire from this weapon have no damage falloff. So if I was to shoot someone from across the map, it would do the same amount of damage to them as it would if they were right up next to me. It's really nice if you're doing mid-range to long-range combat or even short-range combat. It's really nice for that just because you don't have to worry about your damage falling off at all. As well as it over-penetrates through targets and it has skip rounds. So what this means is if I was shooting in Crucible and I hit one person and another person's right behind them, it's going to hit them as well. It's going to go through that person, hitting both of them. And if there's a wall, It'll skip off the wall. It's really nice for small area encounters, for small rooms, because you can bounce it all over the walls. Then it has quick draw or fitted stock. Really, it's up to you which one you use. 
and then glass half full, which the bottom half of the magazine will cause additional damage, which is really nice, or spray and play, which is whenever you're completely out of ammo in the clip, the magazine will reload really quickly. It's really nice because there's only 40 rounds and it's a high fire rate auto rifle. It's really nice to have spray and play, but glass half full is also an equally great perk. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and comment on what you would like to see Zer sell next week. That's it for this week. I'm Justin from Vonix Entertainment.